Hello folks. <clears throat> I said uh, during this time, obviously, got a lot of spare time, like I keep saying, and I'm just going to be making a wee message every day. Now, this is very important. Recently, I've been in contact with, I've been speaking to uh, three, well, I've been speaking to a lot of Christians, but there was three Christians in particular that I was speaking to, and they were actually doubting their salvation, you know? And I was like, that's, can, you know, and us as Christians can do that. It does sometimes come into our head, you know, and, is God going to accept me? And what happens if God doesn't accept me and stuff? And we shouldn't, we shouldn't go down that road. And I actually think that's a good sign when that's happened to you, when you're actually concerned that if you're saved or not, because it shows you that you're actually worried about the things of God. You are worried about your salvation. And ultimately, if you're getting told you're not saved, right, if you're getting the wiles of the devil coming at you, telling you you're not saved, then that's just evidence that you are. Okay, and I want to read a wee scripture here. It's in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, 44. And I want you to listen to what Jesus says. He was speaking to the Jews who were challenging him. Uh, 8, 8 44, John 8 44. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. So, why would we want to listen to a lie? Right? We've got the word of God here, the truth. The, the book that says that you're sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of salvation. The book that says the gifts and cons of God are irrevocable. And uh, salvation is a gift. It says that in the same book. You know, The, uh, <clears throat> the wages of sin is death. The, the gift of God is salvation, basically. You know, so we don't we don't listen to a lie. We don't listen to these wiles, and we don't uh, if we meditate on that. You know, I mean, if we meditate on the lie, we're not going to be right. You know, we're we're going to really get ourselves worried and upset, and that's going to put us off track, and we're just going to be functioning in a spirit of fear. You know, which is going to do us no good. And the the Bible warned us. You know, like it tells us that. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And it's like, why why listen to the enemy? Because we know what he's doing. You know, the Bible says he goes about like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. You know, even even in the situation where he presented himself before the throne of God in the book of Job, and they asked him, where have you been? He says, I've been going to and forth the earth to do my rounds. You know, it's, and it's like, once you're saved, there's nothing the devil can do. He knows you're saved, but you know what he can do. You know what he will try and do, because he's a, he's a thief. Like Jesus says, he's he, he comes to kill, destroy, and steal. What he can do is he can make you feel like you're not saved. He can rob you of your peace, okay? Because Jesus said that. He's a robber, you know? So don't listen to the lie, okay? If you love Jesus, if you've got a genuine love for Jesus, and you've got a genuine faith in Jesus, right? Now don't don't listen, don't let the devil if you know, if you believe Jesus is real and you put your trust in that, don't let the devil tell you, oh no, you're not good enough. No, this isn't for you. Because that's just lies, that's just nonsense. And if if we go down the road of believing that, because I went through a period of this when I was twenty two, I really got myself in the right state because I just uh I just believed that I just got this thing in my head that I wasn't saved, you know, and I really I really I really focused on it and I got myself all upset and I ended up very depressed. I ended up to the stage where, not that I was giving up belief in God, but I was just very discouraged, you know. I believed the lie and I just accepted it and says, oh, well, God, that's me then. I'll just, uh, I'm still going to love you anyway, but that's me. I, I'm not getting to come with, with, my, with the Christians and <laughs> to heaven. It's just like, you know, that's, that's the way it can get you. And it's just total rubbish, you know. The Bible tells us we can boldly walk before the throne of grace. You know, there's no condemnation for them who love the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're if you're getting if you're getting uh, if you're getting strange thoughts in your head and stuff, or what happens if I, I, I might I'm not saved? I might not be saved. Now. That's a good sign, and it is because that's what the devil would would try and lie to you. And you've heard the word; he's a liar, and. When, when he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources because that was all he ever was from the start, you know. And go and go and look at Satan's record in the Bible. Just, just, just a liar, you know. Uh, we know that's how Eve fell, and we know that's the way he works. We know that's the way he functions. But thank God, we've we've got the truth. 
we've got we've got the word of God. When that rubbish comes, you just quote scripture. You know, you, you just start quoting all the scriptures about salvation, and just don't dwell on it. Don't even listen to it. Submit to God. Resist the devil, and he'll flee. So that that would be my advice to anyone just now that's uh, gone gone through that problem. Just just ignore it. And uh, this was basically a, a, a video more for Christians, you know. Okay, folks. Bye. God bless.